Welcome, I'm David Geiger. Soil health is vital, and more research is looking at how much soil is left and how to improve it. More than 90% of soil around the world is thinning, according to a new study. Dr. Dan Evans is part of a research team that checked out a lot of the world erosion rates and says a key takeaway is what they found that helped. The soils in our study that were uh, subject to conservation management, so plowing across the slope, minimum tillage, potentially uh, growing a cover crop between the, the harvests and the, and the growing seasons, all of these conservation practices reduced erosion rates and what that did was extend the lifespan of the soil. In some cases, soil with fewer than 100 years could jump to 300 or 400 years of life left. Evans says the soil type matters. Properties change the ability to form or erode. Certain soils are more susceptible to erosion, particularly those with poor structure, if they were bare or fallow, or if they were plowed. And for some, those weaknesses could mean fewer farms. 16% of soils the study looked at had fewer than 100 years of topsoil left, meaning erosion is happening faster than soil creation. Soils with very limited kind of critical lifespans of, of say less than a century are, are indeed prevalent. So uh, that's one of the things that we aim to go into further detail about is to really pinpoint some of the hotspots um, of, uh, of soil erosion. Now, this study looked at 4,200 plot-based gross erosion rates spanning 10,000 plot years in 255 unique locations from 240 studies. That was all in 38 different countries. What it does is give an insight into erosion rates around the world, quality checking studies to see how long it takes for 30 centimeters, that's a little under a foot, of soil to erode using current formation and erosion rates. Evans calls the soil loss a call to action. There are soils with critical lifespans. So what our call is, is for governments, to policymakers and decision makers, to people who manage land on the ground, to communities, and the social and economic structures that support those communities to come together, to collaborate together, to extend soil lifespans. And Evans points out there is good news. He mentioned conservation earlier, and that doesn't just slow down erosion. In some cases, it helps build soil. Evans found nearly 10% of soil around the globe is gaining thickness. Again, Evans points out how vital conservation and regenerative agriculture is. Terraces, reducing tillage and cover crops. These practices they're quite small scale in many ways. They're quite localized. Uh, they are re requiring, uh, in many ways, kind of individual action on an individual soil, but they ha can have extraordinary uh, impacts and positive impacts on the long-term soil sustainability and long-term soil health. Ultimately, the study concludes there is a wide distribution of soil lifespan. Some has 100 years, some has 10,000 years. But in many cases, that depends on where it is, what the climate is, or even just the texture. But soils with human scale lifespans shorter than 100 years are in all of the 38 countries looked at, including the most wealthy. Demonstrating erosion is a critical threat to global sustainability and action is needed. Soil is an important natural capital resource. It provides so many services that we rely on in day-to-day -day life, from the, the food we eat to the water we drink, uh, from the clothes we wear to the gardens that we tender, uh, from the energy that we consume to the foundations of our built environment. You know, our soil resources are indispensable. No markets today because of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. So that's all I have for the Agribusiness Report today. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again next time.